In this video, you'll learn how to add multiple images to a composition that you're building in Photoshop. Like many things in Photoshop, there's more than one way to do this. We're going to use the Place Embedded method, which automatically creates a new layer for each added image, giving you the flexibility to size and position each added image as you like. If you're following along, start by opening this image from the practice files for this tutorial. You can leave the other practice file with a similar name closed for now. When we use the Place Embedded command to add another image to this composition, Photoshop will automatically create a new layer for the added image, above whichever layer is selected at the moment. So the first step is to go to the Layers panel and select the layer above which you want your new layer. I'm going to select the background layer. Next, go to the File menu and choose Place Embedded. That opens your Finder or File Explorer where you'll navigate to the file that you want to add. If you're using the downloadable practice files, navigate to the practice files on your computer and choose this file. Then click the Place button at the bottom right. The added photo appears in the open image in your document window. This photo happens to be larger than the open image, but you don't have to worry about that. Photoshop automatically scales the added photo down so it fits in the original image. Before you complete the placement, you'll scale down the photo and place it where you want it in the composition. To scale this photo down proportionately without distorting it, hold the Shift key as you drag from any of the corners inward. If you want your added photo to be about the same size as one of the other small photos in this composition, use one of those photos as a guide to help you size this one. I'll remove my finger from the mouse or trackpad and release the Shift key. I'll hold the Shift key down and come over to this other corner and drag inward there to get the added photo just about the same size as this other small photo. Next, you'll want to position the added photo where you want it in the composition. To do that, click inside of the border and drag. These pink guides may appear, they're called smart guides, to help you align the added photo to the other elements in the composition. When you're happy with the size and the placement of your added photo, complete the placement by going up to the options bar and clicking the big check mark there. And that's all there is to it. If later you decide that you want to move the added photo, you can do that by just selecting its layer getting the Move tool in the Tools panel, and dragging the added photo elsewhere in the composition. Or, let's say you want to change the size of the added photo. You can do that too. And to do that, you'll use the Free Transform command that we learned about in an earlier video in this tutorial. So let's say I wanted that middle image to be a different size. I would make sure its layer is selected in the Layers panel. I'd go up to the Edit menu and choose Free Transform. Hold the Shift key to constrain proportions and drag from any of the corners to change the size of that photo. And then click the check mark in the options bar to commit that change. There's one thing to keep in mind when you use the Place Embedded command, and that is that there are some edits you can't do directly on the resulting smart object that this command creates. Now there's lots to learn about smart objects, but for now, let's just talk about what to do if you run into this situation. Let's say that I wanted to paint on the photo that I added. I'll make sure I have its layer selected in the Layers panel, and I'll go over to the Tools panel, and I'll select the Brush tool. When I move into the image and click to Paint, I get this message saying that this object must be rasterized before proceeding. This means that if I click OK, I'll be converting my added photo layer into a regular pixel-based layer. And that's just fine, so I'll click OK. And that's the simple solution that will allow me to paint on my added photo. So now that you know how to add images to a composition, have fun creating your own unique multi-image designs in Photoshop.